G'day YouTube, it's Tristan from Nitro Gear and Axle. Today we're going to be fitting a transmission cooler to this 2021 Isuzu D-Max. So here it is just down in there, as you can see, and we're going to show you exactly how to do the install. So this is the transmission, this is the automatic transmission on the Isuzu. And uh, Alex, do you want to point out what we've got going on here? Yeah, so essentially we have two lines to go to the cooler, one's in, one's out. They come under here with the factory hard lines and into this, which is the cooler. This uses water from the heater, circulates from the heater and then back to it again to cool down the, cool down the transmission. So we'll just be deleting this essentially. Yep, so this is going to stay in place. And this uh, water from the heater is cooled by the radiator usually. Yep. Um, goes through the heater core and everything and then down here to the transmission fluid. And then, so out, back in, we're gonna go out of here up to the front of the car. Yep. And then when we come all the way back, the, the lines will run next to each other, but the other one will go in the other hole. So does it matter which way they go? Uh, it does specify on the instructions which way to put it. Uh, you generally want the hot water, hot oil going into the top of the cooler if it's mounted vertically. Yeah. And uh, cold oil coming out the bottom. Awesome. Essentially what we'll be doing is taking one of these lines and then looping it from here back to here to keep this all sealed up so it's not going to get full of crap while it's under there. Yeah, awesome. Make sure no mud and dirt gets in there when it goes underwater. Exactly. And what's the path you've chosen? We're going to so, go... We're going to follow the factory stuff under here, take yep. it away from this hot DPF and exhaust. Yep. We don't want to go near that. It gets very hot. So we're going to use heat, heat, um, heat shielding to come around through here. We're going to come underneath here, stay away from the tail shaft. We're going to cut the corner off and go up there. Yep. You can already see a nice clear path up under the engine mount there. Out the front here where this line is. Follow this line down and then we'll bridge the gap under the rad. There's enough room to push in under here and that's where the cooler will be. Awesome. All right, excellent. Let's get to work. The kit comes with the transmission line. So this is some new replacement hose. Plenty of that to go all the way up to the front and back. And then we also have some Direction Plus heat shielding. Now this is a sleeve that the lines can slide through. Keeps them protected so they're not getting rubbed on when it's uh, rubbing against the chassis or, or any other moving parts in the car. But also, most importantly, is it keeps the heat away keeping the lines cool. So once it's gone through the cooler and it's cooled down, you don't want it getting hot again when it comes all the way back. So keeps the heat out on both paths. So in and out, keeping it nice and cool and stopping it from being rubbed on or worn away. This stuff will come separate when you get it. So it's relatively easy to push both hoses through the line. What we've done here is just start at one end, pushing it all the way through until there's a short amount remaining. This end will go to the gearbox. Then we can run that end all the way through, trim off the excess, and then yeah, it's already wrapped up. Awesome. This is the oil cooler that you get in the kit. Uh, it's a Davies Craig branded item. We've got the custom bracket made up. So that is going to mount just over here and mount right behind the grill, right behind there. So you'll just be able to see a little sneak peek of it. Uh, to get to it, we're going to need to remove all of these plastic trim clips. Like so. And take off this top trim panel. We don't need to take out the whole grill. Uh, that's a separate part, so we're going to do that now. Uh, the sneaky one just underneath here. Gets you every time. All right, and that should just lift straight out. Just got to unclip there. Oh yeah, and couple unclip of there. clips. One on each side. Yep. So nice. if you just grab it from each side, they clip out pretty easily. Sweet. And then it's going to mount to this bolt and this bolt. And then also at the bottom down there, I believe. And we actually just learned you can take the grill out. There is a small Phillips head screw in the middle screws into there and it comes out really easy so it's going to give us plenty of access 
to get to everything behind the grill. All right, so the cooler is in. You can see it here just behind the grill. What we need to do is there's three bolts, 10 mil, 10 mil, and a 12 just down there. A little bit difficult to see. Uh, we did need to just bend the horn a little bit to make it clear. We don't want any interference or any rubbing, so always just make sure there's a finger space through there. That's plenty of room. Plug the horn back in and it'll be underneath the car to run the lines. Now we're actually gonna start running the lines from the gearbox to the front so we can trim it up here, make sure we get everything just the right length. We don't want too much extra hose. So we'll show you how we're gonna do that now. Little splash, not much. That's it, give it a twist. That one was a bit more juicy. And then we're just gonna loop that over. Makes it look easy. Perfect. Make sure you get it in the right spot. There we go. There we go, job done there. Now we've got to run the lines to the front. Okay, so we know that we want to start here. We've got this one looped, stopping any drips and leaks while we run the lines. So we'll start from there. We'll get our first run into place. We know we want to come along there. That will work. I like your uh, tip there, mate, with the cable tie holding the clamps on so that they don't fall off. Cause yeah, it's Always a pain to dig out your cable ties afterwards. You've definitely done that a few times. Cable tie here. Yep, zip that on. We'll just get it underneath that hard line so it's protected and then trim all the ends at the end. So just to explain the routing, we come from transmission. We put it in a heat wrap to protect it from the exhaust and the DPF temperatures that come through here. We use the original transcooler lines just to mount off and continue under here next to the diff. The original transcooler stays in situ and we loop it off over this end to keep the oil side of things sealed, but the coolant will still run through here, so we're not touching the cooling system, we're not modifying it, we don't have to worry about it. We come around here, up next to the diff, making sure to tie it off to keep it off this rotating pinion. We go over the top there, and in between the engine mount, where it's nice and protected from both the engine and the chassis. Over the other side we come, off the engine mount, we follow this power steering line wiring that runs all the way down along the front. Our heat braid finishes here, so we swap to an abrasive protection braid, runs all the way along and up under the radiator here. A nice bit of free play here to allow for all the movement of everything, and so it won't get pulled on. And this will be covered with a bash plate anyway, so... So the bash plate goes from up in here, here, to there, and then to there and then back down under the transmission here, so everything's covered. Safe as houses once all the trays go on, so top job. Let's uh, fill it up now with transmission fluid. Okie dokie, cooler is mounted, and all the lines are on, and you can see here we've used some um, non-abrasion tape and the webbing just to protect everything here and here. And uh, Alex has cable tied it, all the way around and anywhere it's touching it's protected by this gauze or webbing whatever you'd like to call it but yeah there it is there installs in nice and big looks really beefy and we'll put the grill back on get the car up and get underneath it so as part of fitting this this kit the cooler will hold an extra amount of fluid the lines will all hold extra fluid so you will have to top this transmission up. You'll have to consult your uh, dealer manual or service manual for instructions on how to do that. Well, that completes the install on the Transoil cooler kit. Uh, again, this one was supplied by Diesel Distributors or Diesel Plus. Uh, as usual, perfect kit. All the bracketry and everything mounted up flawlessly. Tucks away behind there. Just like I bought one. And hopefully when you're doing some serious off-roading and 4x4 work, 
and the transmission is really working its magic, then it's gonna keep all those temps cool. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Thanks again to Alex for helping out uh, install from RoadSafe. And to make sure you subscribe to the channel, there's gonna be plenty more content where this came from, oil catch can setup, as well as a fuel water separator kit. And we're gonna fit those to this 2021 D-Max.